Have you guys seen text like this? And have wondered, how the heck did they change the size of that one word or that line of the text and or change the weight of the font separately from the rest of it? Well, I am going to show you. It's very easy to do this in DaVinci Resolve. And the first things first, what we need to do is grab a text, a basic text, not the text plus, but the basic text. You cannot do this in the text plus, so don't even try to grab that and do it. <laughs> and now I'll select the text and then I'll open up the inspector, okay? I wanna change the in this video part. What you do is highlight the part you wanna change. I can increase the size separately from the I will show you, just like that. It's super duper cool. There's another way of doing this and I'll show you how to do it that way. It's a little bit more complex or fancy. It, uh, <laughs> it has to do with being in Fusion, which is a little bit more complicated when you are a basic editor. But let me just show you for the heck of it. So what I wanna do is grab a Fusion composition. Open this up. I'm gonna grab a background real quick just to kind of get something there for contrast. Grab a text node. This is essentially the same thing as the basic text on the timeline. This and that are like the same exact thing, okay? So I'll disable that, go back into Fusion, and now it's a little bit different in here. You do not highlight it. I can show you right now that it does not do what you would want. So instead, what you have to do is right click in the box, go down to character level styling, click on that, and then up here, this modifiers tab will be available to click on and you can now highlight on the viewer instead of the box. Now I can change the sizing of this. So you can do all this stuff. Now what's really cool is you can change the position in this fusion way of character level styling. If you go to the shading tab and then go down to position, you can now move this upward separately from the other thing. And now it's a little bit closer. It's a little bit weird that the uh, positioning of this is in the shading tab, but it just is. So you're gonna have to remember that. <laughs> And now let's say you've done what you want, but you're not so sure if you like it better than the original one. You can go ahead and turn it off or disable it by clicking on this guy. And then this on and off switch will allow you to just see the comparison to help you decide if you wanna keep it or not. You can also reset the whole thing instead of doing that if you wanna keep character level styling but just do something way different. And then what you can also do is just remove it completely. To remove it completely, make sure that you go to the tools tab and then go to the box, right click in that box, go down to remove character level styling and then it removes it. You can see that the modifiers tab is not available to click on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer to the best of my ability and I will see you all next time.